In this lesson, I'm going to show how TurboDial can be used to um, automate calling out to um, people on your list, uh, how to leave messages, and um, how to record the outcome of your messages. So um, here I am. I have um, this one sample. They've got a phone number where we can leave messages. And um, <coughs> here's TurboDial. Now, TurboDial is going to ask you to log in every time you open up that window. Uh, but the idea is you leave the window open and you use both of your windows here to manage things. So um, if I'm like this and I want to find uh, the information on the latest um, contact, uh, clicking here will get me to the next person. Now I've got this set up so that all calls are being recorded. Uh, I have this set up so that um, I'm calling from the PC. If I call from the PC and I make the call, um, I basically hear a dial tone through my speakers on my PC and the call begins. If I instead go like this and I call from my desk phone, uh, it's going to call my desk phone and then it's going to initiate a call out to the caller's phone number. Uh, just to simplify things, I'm going to call from this PC. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to call. <laughs> And um, there's a call in progress. Now, I'm calling a second desk phone that I have. And uh, I'm going to allow my voicemail to pick up. And you see, it's just giving me a countdown. The phone will pick up before that. Now, if I want to leave a message, I've created this test message here. And as soon as... You reached the offices of Larry Jacob, right Internet now, Marketing. We can't get to the phone right now, but your call so is important to us. Beep, Please leave your name, telephone number, and a message, and, and we'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Voicemail. So there you go. You see the call stopped. Uh, so the phone hung up from my end, even though it's sending out information. Now, this was a phone call that I made. Um, left message I mean this might be redundant because you'll see what sort of information was left so I'm gonna say I made a first call and then I have to save that outcome and you'll see it gives me the the um, information there now if I go back to <clears throat> my um, record here um, you'll see that um, if I go down here you'll see that it recorded a message. And uh, if I click in here, <clears throat> you can see that it recorded this message. So this is a note that I have set up. Uh, but then I can also go here and um, I can play what happened on the call, which is really the voicemail. I you read the offices of Larry Jacob, Internet right Marketing. We up. can't get to the phone right now, but your call is important so when to I us. Hear the beep. So that's the message that I heard. This is the leaving of the message. <clears throat> so I'm going to open that. Hey, this is George Diaz. I'm leaving you a message. Please call me back. So that's what was left on their voicemail. So leave message recording. And that's the message that I have recorded here. Um, now, if I want to play around with these messages, I can create more of these in my list box, this drop-down box. I can click here and play. Hey, this is George Diaz. I'm leaving you a message. Please call me back. <clears throat> and then um, I can go in here and maybe edit that by renaming it. I can delete messages. Uh, I can also click there. Press the pound key to end. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. So now if I go in here, you'll see that there's another message there, and I can... Testing, click. one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. So I have multiple messages here that I can use to uh, leave messages on people's voicemails. I can kind of rehearse those, make sure that they're the optimal message to leave. Um, and that way, <clears throat> uh, I don't have to sit there and come up with a message every single time. 